Hey, uh, thanks for checking in and I uh, just let you know that this is probably one of the last video lessons, perhaps even the very last video lesson in our volume unit. So this is really going to seem like more of a review for finding volume. In fact, your learning target says here that you're going to review how to find the volume of 3D figures. Now it doesn't say which 3D figures. And that's because we're going to do every 3D figure, or pretty much every 3D figure that we've been working with these last few weeks. So, let's get started here and let's do a little review. This is a mixed shapes review for calculating volume. Don't forget, it's always important to round to the nearest tenths if necessary, and we have to remember to show our work and label our answers. Okay, we have a nice little cone here. Uh, the volume of a cone is one-third pi r squared h. So if I'm looking over here, I've got the height of 10, I've got a radius of 5, fantastic. Let's just plug these numbers in. A third times that pi button times the radius, which is 5, which I'm going to have to square, times the height, which is 10. So if you punch all that in your calculator, 1 third times the pi button times 5 times 5, or 5 to the second power, times 10, you end up with 261.8 cubic feet when you round. So that's a review of the volume of a cone. Next up, remember this guy? Oh yes, it's a sphere. Volume of a sphere is 4 thirds times pi times radius to the third. So I look over at my design here, my sphere, and I see that the radius is 8. Awesome. Four thirds times that pi button times eight to the third power. That is not eight times three, it is not 24. That's eight times eight times eight, or eight with an exponent of three. So you punch all that in your magical calculator and it's gonna give you an answer of 2,144.7 and it's cubic inches. That's the volume of that sphere. Cool. What's next? Our friend the cylinder. Hi cylinder. Here we go. Volume of a cylinder. Pi r squared h. So I look over my cylinder. I see it has a height of 12 and a diameter of 6. I don't need the diameter. I just need the radius which makes the radius 3. Gotta watch out for that. Pi button times 3 squared times 12. And hopefully yours matches mine, or one of us did something wrong, right? 339.3 cubic centimeters. That's the volume of that uh, cylinder that is 12 centimeters tall. Cruising right along here. What's next? How many more do we have? Looks like we have three more. This guy's next. What's that? It's a prism. What kind of prism? Rectangular prism, right? I'll shade the base. We're going to call that the base. Volume of a prism is big B, which is base area, times the height of the prism. So when the base is a rectangle, area of the base is length times width, or base times height, however you, however you want to uh, refer to those two measurements. So I'm just looking at the base right now and I see that it's a 5 by 5. So area of the base is 25. I'm going to take this number and put them right there. So volume equals big B, which you calculated to be 25, times the height of the overall prism, which is 9. So volume is equal to 225 cubic meters. Watch out for that big B. You got to remember big B is base area and base area changes depending on the shape of the base as it changes. Oh looky look it's our friend the hemisphere. Hi Mr. Hemisphere. Volume of a hemisphere four thirds pi radius to the third then times half. Why is it times half? Because it's half of a sphere. So I look over at my little hemisphere there and I see that it is in fact showing a radius of 14. That's going to go right there. 
So I have 4 thirds times my pi button times the radius, which is 14, which has to be raised to the third power, then times half. Holy cow, I punch all that in my calculator. Do maybe a little rounding. 5,747 cubic inches. Okay, that's volume of a hemisphere. Next up, another prism. Looks like we didn't do any pyramids in this review, but that's all right. Let's try this prism. I'm going to shade the base. Remember, the base has uh, the same shape on bottom as it does on top. So in this case, the base is this triangle here. Just so we can make sure we see our measurements, that's an 8. All right, here we go. Uh, volume equals big B times H. Big B is base area, and the base is a triangle. So a triangle base, to find the area, half times base times height of the base. So I'm looking here now at this triangle, and I see the base is 15. And the height is 8. So I have to do half times 8 times 15. And big B ends up being 60. That's just big B, though. Now we have to take that 60 times the height of the overall prism, which is 12. And volume equals 720 cubic centimeters. Awesome. That's great. That's really all there is to it. And like I said, for, um, for this review, we aren't even going to talk about the pyramids that we did talk about for a few days in class. But, but as long as you know how to work with spheres and hemispheres and prisms and cones and cylinders, you will do just fine um, as we progress through the last few days of this unit, where we're going to start putting some of these shapes together to make things that are called compound figures. All right? I'll see you in class.